Hey, hey, Brad Bad, where are you going, man? We still got to shoot the warehouse video. Oh, yeah, it is Friday. All right, let's get this done, and then we'll go and play around. Like it. So the biggest thing this week, as you know, the guys are out on tour on the West Coast. And so we got a little disc to help support them out on the tour. Um, thanks again, Manscaped, Double G Craft Jerky, and of course, Flippy, presented by Flippy. But these are pretty sweet. Uh, Halo Thunderbird and Halo Boss. They feel extremely great. I love the Halo Thunderbird. It's like almost exactly like my beat-in vulture. So I'm definitely bagging one of those. I have it over on my desk. And then the Boss for all your boss throws. These are all beautiful. All the Halo has turned out. Jason, if you want to like just give them a little, little glance here. There's a lot of beautiful discs in here. So make sure you check those out. Um, also, just to support the guys out there, make sure to grab bogey row hats. We still have the row hats in stock. And then also we have the plus one patch for your bag. So support the Bogey Bro Tour, Bogey Bro Hat, plus one patch, and either a Halo Boss or Thunderbird or even both if you want to. All right, y'all, we are in the trilogy aisle right now. We're gonna highlight a couple things we've restocked recently. We know the guys like to talk to you about what they throw, and what they really like. We're gonna talk to you about some of the stuff that we like and we think that it could be good for you as well. First one, of course, is the Diamond, the easy to use driver, 86 negative three one. This truly, I've been here for a year, and this, along with, ironically, the Discraft Passion, is probably the most popular disc we sell. We get them in, they sell fast. It's such a good disc for a slower arm speed like me or a newer person. It's fantastic to kind of learn those things. Most of our diamonds are all lightweight right now, 151 to 160, so it's a good, uh, good option to have. One, going for a little understa understable to a little more, a little more stability, the Explorer. I, Full disclosure, I haven't thrown the Explorer, but I love the seven speed, eight speed, nine speed range. When Brad and I were talking about this, I was like, I may need to try this out. It's a 7502. So a little bit of stability for a slow arm speed, a little bit more stability. Um, for sure we have, this is our uh, Ricky Explorer. A bunch of cool ones. These have the bottom stamps, which are always fun. We love bottom stamp discs. And we also have some of these cool ones. I was looking back here. Lat 264 is a stamp game is really cool. It's clean and nice. We've seen that on a bunch of the other Lat 264s. And the uh, Lori, Lettinen, hopefully I pronounced that right. We got that the Explorer in gold. So that's one to try out for sure. Uh, the last disc we're gonna highlight on the Trilogy Isle is the Harp. I mean, most disc graph, not disc graph, disc golfers know what the Harp is. I'm a putt and approach guy all the way because I have a slow arm, so I'm usually having to get up to the basket. And uh, the Harp, it feels so good, 4303. So if you like the zone, I think it's very similar numbers. Uh, lots of varieties here and what, what we love, this just kind of came in recently. I'm an Alabama fan. So by default, I'm a Matty O fan. Look at that little shout out to Nick Saban. And well, it's not really Nick Saban, it's Bear Bryant with a little bit of love there with that uh, houndstooth hat. Can't go wrong with a little roll tie to Matty O. All right, over here at Disc Mania. Again, we're just gonna highlight some stuff that is new, that we've put up, that we think maybe might be good for you and not if you're not like a superhuman or a pro, or hey, maybe you're just wanting to try some new stuff out. So Methods, the first one here, we just restocked those. Um, overstable mid-range. So what I like an overstable mid-range for is like if I'm, I can't quite get a zone or something there and I need the same type of stability, I'll throw something like a Method or a Bobcat, for instance. Uh, what's cool about this is XO Hard, it will beat in and it'll probably give you like some nice like straight with overstable finish once it gets a little seasoned. So um, definitely a good choice there. It feels really good in the hand too. I've never really thrown one. I know Hunter likes it. Um, Splice is next. Super Beefcake Fairway Driver. I mean, this is like your get out of jail free, like 80 flex shot on forehand, or you really need to like throw a big flex line around a tree, splice is a disc for you. We just restocked those. And we'll walk over here. Enigma is another one. If you're like a Destroyer fan, but you're like, hey, I'm done with Innova, I'm going all Disc Mania, or I want to try Disc Mania. Enigma is very similar to a Destroyer, maybe a little less stability, but still very reliable. Um, again, Full disclosure, I've not thrown the Enigma, but I know it's one of those that we sell out every time we get in. So it must be a great disc, but maybe I'll give it a try because I think I can maybe handle it now. We are in the disc craft aisle and you know, I'm a newer disc golfer. I'm an older disc golfer, slower arm speed. So I'm gonna highlight three of disc crafts understable discs. Uh, the first one I'll talk about is the Archer. Five, four, negative four, one, very much like a paradox for those MVP folks. Different feel for sure because the rim is different, uh, but you just can't go wrong for, for I well, I could use my negative fours or for if I don't have a forehand, 
get a good nice little ante and little turn to the right as you're kind of working on your forehand. Not a lot of glide on this, but it's perfect for that kind of flip up for those newer players. Let's go uh, walk down the discraft aisle and hit a couple more. Oh, the heat. We sell a ton of heats as well. A nine, six, negative three, a distance driver under stable. In Z plastic we got right here, similar, our heats are actually pretty domey, so they got some good glide on it. Another similar kind of flip up for you. I love the nine speeds as we talk about. Can't go wrong with the heat for that under stability as well. And the last one, save the best for last, Paige Pierce's Soul. Uh, love the soul for so much. It was one of the first discs I really started throwing and understand the concept of under stability. It's a, what is that, four, five, negative three, so some good glide on it. We know Paige loves the soul. You can't really go wrong with that. We have it on Z in a bunch of different colors. All right, Castaplast, heard of them? For you Berg fans out there, again, I get the Berg, I get why you like the Berg. It's not for me. I did take it out and throw it finally. It didn't fly how I thought it was going to, but in a good way, so I think I get you Berg people why you like it. And that's why we keep keeping them in stock. We have K3, we have K3 hard, we have K1, K1 soft, and we have Glow. Uh, we have all of the variety, all of the Bergs. If you like the Berg, now's the time to get them. It's, it comes and goes. It's sometimes easy to get Bergs, sometimes hard. You all know that we have them now, so get them if that's what your, your thing is right now. The lots, the loots, however you'd like to say it. We're on the nine speeds today, Jason, but Great nine speed. I love this one. It does have a little bit of flip up, which is great even for me with not a super fast arm um, with some reliable stability at the end. Just a great disc. It feels good in the hand. I mean, just that nine speed shape. It's a great plastic. We have it in K1 right now, so make sure you check that out. And really, if I was to say my favorite Castaplast mold is probably the Rico. And we have same situation. We have K3, we have K3 hard, K1, K1 soft. We even have the Rico X, so if you like want like an Envy, but you're a Castaplast person, or maybe you already throw the Rico and you want a similar hand feel, Rico X is really good for that. But just your Rico, even these K3 Ricos, I used them for a while, and what I liked about them is it beat in pretty quick, and it was like almost like a, if you throw a proxy, nice straight to turn sort of throwing putters, kind of how I used it, and I know a lot of people like to putt with it too. Uh, we have all of the Castaplast for your Castaplast needs. So make sure you look at them in recently restocked. All right, y'all, we're back in the MVP aisle. I'm very excited about this because I'm very big into the MVP side of the house. We're gonna talk about the Wave first. We know James loves his Waves, 11.5, negative two, two. So for those folks who have the faster arm speed, they can do so much with this disc. For me, if I come out with a flat or low ante, it's gonna go straight, flex little and go for a long speed. I don't throw too many 11 speeds, but the Wave is one I'm very happy when I have it in my bag. We have some proton, neutron, and look at that cool kind of swirly. It's green, but it's kind of a swirly green. I mean, you can't go wrong with MVP plastic. Let's move a little bit to the photon. What Hunter likes to say is probably the best forehand disc there is out there. I mean, come on. 11.5, negative two, one. When I first started really messing with forehands for sure, the photon's the one I put in the bag. Uh, they've stayed in the bag since then for when I'm doing, uh, when I knew, when I go to a course where I know I may need to do a little bit longer forehand throws, this is definitely the disc I like. We have a variety of those too. We have neutrons, some cool cosmic neutron, and even um, a bunch of fission. It's another interesting kind of, almost like a swirly fission as well. MVP has got, got stuff going on for sure. And of course, last but not least, hashtag envy all day. I'm an envy guy. I'm going to tell you a quick story. I like to brag that I was an envy guy long before the holy shot. Pure coincidence, I happened to throw an Electron Envy in my bag, and then no kidding, like two weeks later, James hits the holy shot. Um, but I was an Envy guy before then. Pure luck, though. Uh, love my Envies. We have, like, almost any Envy you can think of. We have the Cosmic Electron. We have, that's actually Cosmic Neutron. We have Electron Firm, Electron Soft, Cosmic Electron. All the colors are looking good. We have a ton of Fission. We historically haven't had a ton of Fission Envies in. A ton of those, of course, Eclipse. And then look at that Prism Plasma. So what I love about Envy, even though it's a 3302 for different arms, it does different things. My electrons beat in really quick, so they do not go left. They even start flipping up, whereas the Eclipse will definitely stay a little stability on there, as well as some of the Prism Protons and Prism Plasmas will do that as well. I love the Envy. It can do so many different things. You can have a few different ones in your bag to do different things. So uh, grab one while you can. This is the big one of the biggest restocks we've had of Envy, so grab it while we still have them. Now, am I big into Prodigy? in the way that Hunter and Trevor are, not necessarily. But I will say there's a lot of their plastic and several of their molds that, I have like this mental, I guess, bench in my head on like, hey, 
if this, if you lose this disc or if you are really finding you need this, try out this disc. Now there's several molds and prodigy that are on that list for me. Um, one of the big ones is the FX3. I guess, again, we're on the nine speeds today. I really love how this disc feels, especially this new 400 plastic that they're making. It feels great. There's no flashing issues. It just feels really good. Has a little bit, it's a, a negative 1.52. So, I mean, pretty neutral to stable, which is always good for me. It's probably gonna be a little overstable for me because I have a slower arm. We have it in 400 and their new 500 plastic, just that's the one that I wanna bag. It feels incredible. So that's really kind of been on the list for me. Uh, another one, as soon as these came in, I, I thought about it. I don't need another overstable throwing putter, but it is on the bench in my head for sure. Uh, but these, we still have first run P model OS um, in ProFlex active or ace line. It feels so good. It feels very like, I don't know, MV-esque, but a little deeper. So maybe if you tried the MV or, I mean, any of the overstable throwing putters and you're like, I wish it was a little deeper. This is probably the, the putter for you to throw, but it, it feels incredible. Um, and then last but not least, the Strider. We have the Strider in again, 400 and 500 plastic overstable mid-range. I think that, and I talked about this on In The Bag this week, I think one of the slots that a lot of beginners to like amateur players are missing is an overstable mid, like a very overstable mid. Just because you can do so much, if there's wind, you have that reliable over stability. Also, if you need to get around stuff, you can start learning like a small flex line with them. So we have a ton of these, so make sure you check them out as well. All right, y'all, that's the end of the warehouse walkthrough. Hope you enjoyed it. Brad and I gotta wrap this up because we're gonna hit the course. Hopefully you do the same this weekend. See you then.